are single, how many of you think why is it so hard to find a partner? <laughs> well, what I'm going to do today is to focus on four major aspects of modern relationships. What we, 21st century people, think about relationship. What is relationship? What has changed from a 19th century relationship to 21st century dating? And how to deal with this modern world of dating? Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the world of 21st century relationship. Let me begin with the foundation, ourselves. Every girl dreams that she deserves a prince. And where on the earth is my prince charming? Is he going to come on a white horse? Mm -hmm. Similarly, every boy wants to have a princess right beside him. We all hope for an ideal relationship and wonders, when, when is we going to find our partner? Dreams feel real while we are in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. All of us not only want just a Prince Charming and a Princess Cinderella, there is also a big list attached to it. He or she should have a sense of humor, commitment, respect, empathy, maturity, integrity. Wait, this is not all. With this, we want few more things. He should have his own life. I don't like clingy person. No drama. Not getting angry on small things. She should know when to leave me alone, when not to leave me alone. He should be exactly the same as me. No, I think a perfect would be interesting. Man, we are damn courageous with this very, very small list. We have guts to dive off the high boards into the world of relationship. All of us manage to find somebody for ourselves with little ifs and buts. But don't you think it is important to take some time and analyze ourselves before testing the waters. Because these waters are full of vicious piranhas, boring starfishes, grabby crabs and a beached whales. We need to understand very clearly and distinctly what are our driving needs and desires. What are our guiding principles and values? And what is it that triggers us into an unconscious emotional reaction? What has changed from a 19th century to 21st century? In past, it used to be, I'm trying to find one man or a woman that I can spend rest of my life with. But now it is, I'm trying to find one man or a woman that I can spend rest of this weekend with. <laughs> Dating nowadays is somewhat peculiar. Traditions of the game have changed. No one is sure whom you are dating, if he or she is your best friend, girlfriend, boyfriend or enemy. How can we genuinely unable to identify what we are with someone else? If you spend a significant amount of time together, isn't it safe to say that you are in a relationship? Or does it not count? Because it was never officially discussed. Yeah, probably it doesn't count. We all know that we can experience a palpable love. Well, this sadly, this is a stressful scenario where many are tangled up today. Step back for a moment and think, is, not, is modern dating truly normal? Is it healthy? Is there a better way? Or must all singles settle for this path? Now let's talk about love. What is love? What are love relationships? All of us knows many definitions of love from Bollywood. If you ask my generation, they would say, Pyaar dosti hai. Love is friendship. Of course, we have seen our teenage with admiring Shah Rukh Khan and Raj. But let me tell you something which makes little more sense. Western literature says, If you treat me the way I want to be treated, then the response that I feel towards you is love. I repeat, if you treat me the way I want to be treated, then the response that I feel towards you is love. But if you look at Eastern literature, 
It is a very different definition. And it's something like this. Love is a wish to make someone happy. And it's a very different paradigm. No relationship is perfect. But we can try making every relationship almost perfect. We just have to learn to appreciate the things we have before time forces us to appreciate the things we once had. It puts the onus on us to move towards other. It makes us accountable for our actions. We can choose to be a part of a problem or a part of a solution. We really can choose that. It's a high form of love. It requires our altruism. It requires us to come out of ourselves and think about others. All of us have seen ups and downs in a relationship. But we can't categorize a bunch before, because of a behavior of one or two not so great people. After all, just because someone has a phobia of elevator, just because one malfunctioned while they were on board, doesn't mean they have to be afraid of all the elevators. We can't allow ourselves to live in a fear of failure. We just have to give others a benefit of doubt. If you feel that and you wait for a Prince Charming to come on his white horse to make you feel special, then you will just keep waiting for the moment to come. Friends, this is a generation where we have to ride our own white horse. Maybe my generation has not worked it out 100% yet. But I feel, if not the horse, some of us are riding a white pony at least. <laughs> Life is not greener on the other side. We just have to water our own. Over to you, Toastmaster. <laughs>